When we look up at the night sky, we see a vast expanse of stars, planets, and galaxies. But could this cosmic landscape be teeming with something more profound than lifeless matter? Could consciousness be woven into the very fabric of the universe itself? For millennia, we've drawn a clear line between the living and the non-living, the conscious and the inert. But what if this distinction is an illusion? What if consciousness is a fundamental property of the universe present even in the smallest particles? This is the radical idea behind panpsychism. At the heart of this paradigm shift is the humble electron, the subatomic particle that forms the building blocks of our world. Could these tiny particles harbor a glimmer of awareness, a primitive form of consciousness? Some scientists believe this may hold the key to unlocking the universe's greatest mysteries. Before we can dive into the question of electron consciousness, we need to address a more fundamental question. What is consciousness? Consciousness, in its most basic form, is the ability to experience the world, to feel, to sense, to be aware. One of the leading theories of consciousness in modern science is Integrated Information Theory, IIT, developed by neuroscientist Giulio Tononi. IT proposes that consciousness arises from the complexity of information processed within a system. The more interconnected and integrated the information, the higher the level of consciousness. If consciousness is indeed a product of integrated information, then it could theoretically exist in any system that exhibits a sufficient degree of complexity, regardless of its physical makeup. This opens the door to the possibility of non-biological consciousness, including, perhaps, the consciousness of electrons. Imagine for a moment that you could shrink down to the size of an atom, entering a subatomic world far stranger than anything we can imagine. Here, electrons, those tiny particles that govern the interactions of matter, dance around the nucleus, their movements dictated by the laws of quantum mechanics. Panpsychism, particularly the variant known as constitutive panpsychism, suggests that this quantum strangeness might be a hint of something more profound. This view proposes that all matter, regardless of its complexity, possesses an inner aspect, a subjective experience, however rudimentary. In other words, even an electron might have a rudimentary form of consciousness, a kind of proto-experience that forms the building block of more complex forms of consciousness. Physicist Freeman Dyson argued that human consciousness might differ only in degree, not kind, from the choices electrons make between quantum states. The Whispers of Choice Evidence for Electron Consciousness the idea of electron consciousness, while still on the fringes of mainstream science, is not without its evidence. Proponents point to several intriguing observations and theoretical arguments that lend credence to this mind-boggling possibility. One of the primary arguments stems from the principle of continuity. Throughout the history of science, we've seen a gradual erosion of sharp distinctions. In this vein, Panpsychists argue that it's unlikely that consciousness suddenly emerged from non-conscious matter. Instead, they propose a more gradual and continuous view, where consciousness exists on a spectrum. Further support for electron consciousness comes from the realm of quantum mechanics. The observer effect suggests that the act of observation can influence the state of a quantum system. Some physicists, like John von Neumann, have argued that it points to a more fundamental connection between consciousness and the quantum realm. Do you dub the electron's mind? Despite these intriguing arguments, the idea of electron consciousness is not without its critics. Skeptics, like physicist Sabine Hossenfelder, raise valid concerns about the lack of empirical evidence and the difficulty of reconciling electron consciousness 
with our current understanding of physics. One of the main criticisms is the lack of a clear mechanism. Critics argue that quantum phenomena like the observer effect can be explained without invoking consciousness. Hossenfelder contends that attributing consciousness to particles without a clear understanding of how such consciousness would manifest in their behavior is premature and lacks scientific rigor. Another challenge is explaining how the rudimentary consciousness of individual particles could give rise to the complex consciousness we experience as humans. This is known as the combination problem, and it remains a significant hurdle for panpsychism and related theories. Now, let's talk about the dance of experience. Despite these challenges, the idea of a conscious universe continues to captivate the imaginations of philosophers and scientists alike. One thinker who developed a particularly compelling vision of panpsychism was Alfred North Whitehead, a philosopher and mathematician who sought to bridge the gap between physics and experience. Whitehead's process philosophy challenges the traditional view of matter as inert and static. Instead, he envisioned a universe in a constant state of flux, where even the smallest particles are engaged in a dynamic process of becoming. Central to Whitehead's philosophy is the concept of actual occasions, which he saw as the fundamental units of reality. These actual occasions are not static things, but moments of experience. According to Whitehead, each actual occasion arises from the prehension or grasping of previous actual occasions, incorporating aspects of their experience into its own being. What is the future of consciousness studies? The question of electron consciousness, like many questions at the forefront of science, is likely to remain a topic of debate for years to come. However, the very fact that we're having this conversation is a testament to the remarkable progress we've made in understanding both the physical and mental realms. While we may not have definitive answers yet, the pursuit of these answers is a journey worth taking. By exploring the boundaries of consciousness, we open ourselves up to new possibilities and deepen our appreciation for the universe's boundless mysteries. Whatever the future holds, one thing is certain. The exploration of consciousness will continue to be one of the most captivating and transformative adventures in human history. Please leave a like and subscribe for more videos. This really helps our channel.